Yo, GoFest is over. If you missed any GoFest videos, episode one or episode two, go back and watch them. But the new season, Adventures Abound, is upon us. Hello, season nine, Pokemon. There's a lot to talk about, including the Ultra Unlock. But right now, we are at Disneyland. We're dropping our daily adventure incense. One thing that you can count on in the middle of all of these changes is counting on True Dog 90, ya boy bringing you some great content. We're at Disney as we always are. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. First spawn off the incense, Jigglypuff non-shiny. What I also wanted to say was this. If you don't have an auto catcher, buy an auto catcher. I finally today had it running for the first time. And look at what we already have in the account. A random hundo that I wouldn't have got because I was at work and a shiny Hitmontop that I wouldn't have got because I was at work. Shout out to the auto catcher, love, bro. All right, second spawn, non-shiny plusle. We'll get into all the details, including Charmander Calm Day Classic, what? We have a lot to talk about, bro. 11 Pokemon, pretty underwhelming, but you know it's not underwhelming. It's mega evolving for the first time ever, my 100%, 50 maxed Rayquaza. We're doing that, but first, gotta find a churro. Oh my God, I've been very lucky on finding these Not sure what I was thinking. A hot churro on a hot day. Bro, I need to be smarter about my life. But speaking about hot things, Charmander Calm Day Classic. Now, people aren't pumped about that, but I miss both Charmander Calm Day, so I'm really excited about this one. 2 to 5 p.m. Saturday, September 2nd. The only bonus you need to know, three times catch Stardust. If you evolve a Pokemon in that time window, it's gonna get Blast Burn. Char Charizard to Blast Burn is what you need. Go out and get the Classic, baby. You can't miss it. Random 2K, I'm learning you gotta film everything, <clears throat> even if it's a Wimpod. Got a few minutes and a lot to talk about. First is the Paldean Adventures. It's going down September 5th, the day before my birthday, going through September 10th. Now the Ultra Unlock goes September 10th through 15th. So there's 10 day span, two different events, but the bonuses are the same. And these bonuses are ones that y'all don't want to miss. It's four times XP for, it's four times XP for catching Pokemon, four times Stardust, and Pokestops may turn gold without a golden lure module. I'm less concerned about Gimme Gold. You do need a thousand coins to catch or to evolve Give me gold. I mean, I'm, I have like 32 coins. But what I need, and I'm pretty sure you need, is XP. It takes 176 million XP to hit level 50, and your boy Drew Dog 90 is going to get to level 50. So you best believe I'm gonna have my auto catcher running, and I'm gonna find time to get out and grind, drop a lucky egg, drop a star piece, because these bonuses are nuts. Now, as for the spawns for the Paldean Adventure, again September 5th through September 10th, it's the starters for Gen 9. We're talking Sprigatito, the Grass type, Foy Coco, the Fire type and then Quaxly. Um, of course it's 25 candy to get to the second stage and then 100 to get to the third stage. And then even more exciting than that, Lechonk makes its debut and it has its shiny eligible making it of course one of the most rare shinies in the game. Hopefully you get one of those. As for eggs, the train's coming. As for eggs, I wouldn't waste your time on them. Raids, I don't know about raids either. It's unknown A, D, E, and L. The, the raids are probably going to be so incredibly low. Appearing in three star raids, Machamp, uh, I mean get some Machamp candy if you don't have a strong a champ. Five star raids, there's a little bit of a switch. Cresselia and Cartana, Northern Hemisphere. We have uh, Cartana first, and then as of the 8th through the 16th, it's like a week later, Cresselia and Cartana swap. So the world gets both of them, basically. And then Mega Manectric hits Mega Raids. Let's get on the train, and we'll cover the Ultra Unlock. I've experienced heartbreak, but nothing ever that painful. Wow, that was rough. Well, Ultra Unlock details happening September 10th through 15th. Again, these bonuses, four times XP per catch, four times Stardust, and Golden Lure modules off the rip. Get out there and play. Now, Ultra Unlock brings even more Generation 9 Pokemon. We're talking Nimble that involves into Low Kicks, the Palmy family, and then Bombardier. 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 It's shiny, so go ahead and get it. And last, Frigibax. This is something that I think a lot of people were excited about. Baxcalibur. Again, I know nothing about it, but it looks pretty cool. As for spawns, it's the same four that have an increased chance. Hoppet, Poundor, Buizel, Fletchling. And it's literally the same as the other event, only they added Nimble and Palmy in the wild. Um, and then Frigibax. So it's it's kind of an underwhelming ultra. It's ultra underwhelming. That's what it is. Eggs wouldn't bother. Raids unknown, but that's going to cost you the money. 
three star raids, Cleavor and Bombardier, uh, Bombardier's there, that's kind of cool. And then again, we already talked about this, but Celestila and Cartana are swapping out in raids with Mega Manectric making its appearance. Loading in, did you see that new screen? I'll go ahead and put that back up. That's pretty cool, it's the first time we're seeing that. Okay, we're not gonna look at that. We are going to, oh, look at Disney, man. It's just so great. What we're gonna do right now, without further ado, we have a 50 max Ray Quaza Hundo. Ray Quaza. We definitely need to give it a new attack. We're gonna spend that dust. Not worried about it. We're in the millions on dust. And we're going to use this. Yeah, we're gonna switch out Ancient Power, teach it Dragon Ascend. And like I said, with the castle, kind of way in the background, but it's there. One, two, three. Now we are going to mega evolve this thing. Come on. Did that CP say 6,400? Look at this. I wanted to do a shiny, but I don't have a good shiny. Oh my gosh! In the decks. Come on, let me know in the comments. Did you mega evolve your Rayquaza yet or what? All right, one last thing to do. There it is. Oh my gosh, sorry Mickey Mouse. You're about to be this Rayquaza's food right now. Give it up, mega ray. All right, dude, last thing to do as we're walking out is talking about the new season and the bonuses. Sorry, bro, the parade was starting. It was getting super loud, but we're here to talk about the new season, Adventures Abound, and the new bonuses, and we're gonna cut straight to the chase. Master Ball, Master Ball. If you have one, you're about to have two of them. This is it, it's a timed investigation, which I guess is supposed to be different from time research or special research, but basically you have until November 21st, 8 p.m. to finish the research um look at the math on this xp dude it's a hundred thousand xp if you claim it without a lucky egg now it's uh pretty you know it's it's not going to be done in one day it's going to take some time 60 raids 30 eggs i mean 150 research tasks it's kind of a grind but dude you get a master ball you get 3,000 dust and then all the xp combined is a hundred grand let's go as for the season long bonuses, at first I was a little underwhelmed because it's all about friendship, but let me tell you, I'm still trying to hit level 50. You need 176 million XP to get to level 50. So I'm actually really pumped about this. Check this out. The new gift limit is 40 gifts sent and that can be open per day. That's awesome. You get increased damage when you raid with a buddy. That's kind of lame, but it's one and a half XP for friendship. So best friends, hitting best friends on a lucky egg is now three. 300,000 XP. You stack up 10 of those, 3 million XP in literally five seconds. I mean, I'm very excited. Next video, I actually have four best friend bonuses that I'm gonna redeem. That's a million 200 XP for opening a gift. Come on, Niantic. We covered these Pokemon, but we'll look at them again for this season. We have 21 Pokemon from Gen 9. We're talking shiny Lechonk. We're talking shiny Bombadil. I mean, it's pretty cool. And Baxcalibur, looks cool. Maybe it's trash, but I'm actually excited for it. Research Breakthrough finally has a shakeup. Galarian Farfetch'd, Larvitar, Sableye, Bagon, Furfro, and Gumi. If you miss Gumi during GoFest, hopefully you get it here. And Furfro Shinies, I mean, those are super rare, so get the Breakthrough done. Spawns also have a shakeup up in the cities. I need a Dedenny. Let me know in the comments which one you need most. Forest, Orangaroo, I didn't get that during GoFest. Mountains, Shiny Darumaka, I got to get it. Water, if you're by the beach. Dude, Dupider is available for all and well, Gumi's looking really cute too. There are also Hemisphere exclusive Pokemon, and I'm gonna say this, us in the north, we win with Tyrant and Amora. what? I mean, Tortuga and Archon are cool in the south, but yeah, dude, north takes the cake. If you're looking to burn some money the next three months, hatch some eggs. 2K eggs, here's a new pool with the new exclusive shiny Lechonk. 5K eggs has the generation nine starters. 7Ks are trash, but what's new? In 10Ks, they added Carbink and Frigibax. And lastly, Adventure Sync eggs. I'm very excited because without fail, I always get a 10k egg. They narrowed it down to four Pokemon. Gibble, Gumi, Rockruff, and Jangmo. O. Oh, that's some heat. Well, that's it, bro. That was a ton of info, but basically subscribe to the channel if you're new. There's a lot of changes, but like I said, you can count on DrewDog90 being consistent, bringing you some great Pokemon Go content. Peace out, my dogs.